Well, this was a wonderful thing to wake up to. Welcome back, Monster Jam fans, to another Spin Master Monster Jam review. And once again, just like the Salvager video, if you are watching this, then the Slam Series number 12 is over. So here I am, reviewing the Mystery Trucks, except for this one. This replaced the regular Megalodon. So, yeah. I'll be I'll post about this one on Instagram, but I'll keep these two a secret until I upload this video. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's review these things. All right, here is Megalodon from the Elemental series. Take a look at the back. This is a blue wristband. So yeah, not much to talk about here. Get this thing opened. So here is Megalodon Water. And get the wristband out. Which you guys want to see it. Here it is. Just a Monster Jam wristband. And that's about it. Okay, so first thing I want to go over is are the tires the same size? They look smaller. And they look about the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. Never mind. <sighs> so here is Megalodon. It's a clear blue roll cage, blue chassis, and the blue water tires and clear rims. No BKT tires. They can't. I mean, they can't do that with this. So let's take a look at the tires. That's pretty much the main focus of this. So we get at the water molding. Tires supposed to look like they're made of water, so you can see the water splashing. And it's very cool. I love the clear rims. Yeah, these are pretty sick. Still rolls the same as a normal monster truck. So and by the way, sorry if I sound weird, I just got up. I was too excited to go back to sleep. Because I was thinking about these coming. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, really loving the tires. I can't wait to see Dragon Fire. That's going to be sick. I love the paint scheme it's got. Then Hurricane Force Wind. That's going to be cool. I imagine the tires are going to be clear. But, who knows, maybe they won't be. Alright. <coughs> Come on, focus. Don't focus on the background, focus on the truck. There you go, good boy. Okay. So we got the Megalodon logo right there. Monster Jam logo. You got a transparent fin on both sides. It's pretty awesome. The water splashing up on the side. Because that's where sharks live, so this, this truck makes sense. You know what other truck would make sense for a water truck? Uh, Octonator. So, yeah, got the water going all the way back to the fin. Here's the back of it, nothing to it. And the point here got stuck. And you got a little bit of water on the roof. Like right there. And the fin on top. The hood, nothing to it. And that's about it. And the the graphics on this are slightly brighter than the first release of Megalodon. You can kind of see they've been slowly fixing it throughout the year. So yeah. <clears throat> that's about it with Megalodon Water. Now let's move on to the next truck. I'm excited about this. Oh man, I've waited a long time for this one. I'm, I'm excited to open it. The Gravedigger Reckless. This makes me question whether if I love Retro Rebels more or Reckless Trucks. Right now, it, I think it's Reckless Trucks. Because this just looks so cool. It's basically, they basically took the Gravedigger 5 pack and mashed it into one while throwing in the modern Gravedigger body. 
So, yeah. So, this is two out of three on the reckless trucks. But, enough talking. Let's get this bad boy opened. And here is the beautiful truck. In all its glory. It's, it's, it's beautiful. So, it's got a matte paint. You, know, you guys know I love the matte paint trucks. Here's the wristband. It's the normal green gravedigger wristband. So here is the beautiful reckless gravedigger. It's got the green roll cage, brown chassis to make it look rusty. Black PKT tires, and on the passenger side, you got one one green rim and one gray rim. And then on the driver side, you got one yellow and one brown. Excuse me. Take a closer look at this thing. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay. So you got the you got the blue and gray grave digger. You're peeking out over here. I mean grave. Chesapeake, Virginia, Currituck Grain Company cut off. Yeah, I love how they combine the Gravedigger logos here, from then to now. Hey, they should do the they should do those two packs. Spin Master, Spin Master should do their own then and now two packs. So we got the old Gravedigger logo combined with the modern one. Got the iconic ghost on the side with some rust in the middle. This rust line goes all along along the truck. You got the graveyard. The graphics are purposely blurry. Make them make it look crappy. Like it's been out of an actual junkyard. Let's see I can see Mohawk Warrior, Adam and Ryan, Pirates Curse, and Blue Thunder. And then you got the Grandma Gravedigger door. This is the new tooling by the way. Got some rust going along along there. Then you got two headlights. Would have been cool if they did it. Added the green ghost flames on one of these sides. So we got the got the headlights, the rust on the bottom. And on the hood, you got the sorry. On the hood, you got the blue and gray gravedigger hood. The Tony Farrell gravedigger, the legend. Rest in peace, Tony. They need to do that version of gravedigger, the legend. I think everyone would love it. So you got that. You got the blue hood with the rust on it. Some rust right there and there. Very, very sick. Looks like there's even a bit of rust detail on this little part. And then you got the driver's side. It's got the grave digger door. Uh, the, mud, the mud truck grave digger. Red one, you know. You got the ghost of Gravedigger number three, and the mist of Gravedigger number three down here. Then you got the modern Gravedigger. So all the sponsors: Mo Monster Jam, Spin Master, Gravedigger.com, and Jim's something. The guy that paints these trucks. Can you imagine if he painted this? That that would be awesome. Then on the roof, on the roof you got the beautiful green ghost. Make as many green ghost grave diggers as you want, Spin Master. I will never get tired of it, I promise. So yeah, you got the green ghost with some rust on it, on it right here. Whereas the Andersons call it the seaweed body. So that's very cool. I love how they did this. So, this is like 100 out of 10. I would recommend getting it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, shout out to Burning Rubber Toy Company who provided these things. As soon as I heard that they had these on eBay, I didn't take my time getting on the computer and ordering these things. I've been waiting for them. And I have the money. I know how to order stuff on eBay. I've been ordering a lot of stuff on eBay. Because 
as I just learned how to do it. It feels like I, it almost feels like I have a superpower now. So that's Gravedigger Reckless. Now let's move on to Wolf's Head. And here's the big bad wolf himself, Wolf's Head. Two out of three on the, r the Rough Crowd series. Comes with a red wristband. You guys already know what the back looks like. Yeah, I just saw this truck in St. Louis. Broke early in freestyle. That's a bunger. Hope to see a wolf side again. Who knows when I'll see him again. Alright, let's get this thing opened. My goodness. This doesn't feel like it's real that I actually have this. So it comes the red wristband. Same wristband as all the other trucks. So, here is Wolf's Head. Got the black black roll cage, red chassis, the black PQT tires, black rims with red bead locks. This thing is perfect in every way. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'll zoom in, focus. Alright, so you got the Wolf's Head logo right there. And Star Creations, the guys that designed this beautiful body. It's probably one of my favorite 3D trucks. You got, you got Monster Jam. I want to focus. Come on. Okay, so you got the Monster Jam logo, FTI. You got some 3D fur here. Awesome fur details. You got the red eye right there, which lights up in real life. You got the 3D teeth, looking like Megalodon here. Some more fur details. And then, let's take a look at the tailgate. Stupid thing won't focus. Okay, I think I got it. So you got Wolf's Head motor oil on the back since 1879. It's a long time to be in business. So that's the tailgate. And you got the front of the truck. It looks pretty mean. This looks like a wolf that you do not want to screw with. So I'm not going to screw with him. 3D T's. Yeah, that's 3D. You got the nose right there. You got the hood, more more fur details. I love the details. I hope to see this truck in the again in the future in person. On the roof, we got Wolf's Head Motor Oil. You can see the logo much better than you could on the tailgate. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Well. Well, I'll give my opinion on this truck. My opinion, it's, it's beautiful. It's perfect in every way. There's no need to correct it. There's nothing to correct. Okay, here's the red chassis, by the way. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, I, I would recommend getting this. And I really hope that they do Exterminator next year. And they keep doing the FTI sponsor. So... They can easily do FTI Torque, and especially do the new design that he's got. I've seen it. It looks beautiful. So, yeah, go get this while you can. Pretty sure Burning Rubber has still got it. And if they don't, then I'm quite sure that they still have this. Oh, yeah, they do. I got an email this morning that it got relisted. Well, well, then again, you guys aren't going to see this until next week when the science series is over. So, I don't know if it will still be there or not. <clears throat> so, I guess this will conclude this Spin Master Monster Jam review. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. This is Joseph Nelson signing off. Peace out. Okay, thanks for watching, Joseph. Hope you enjoyed it.